All right, this one's going to be on something I put together to emulate uh, an NCURS interface or a text user interface to rsync uh, because I try to find a program that does that, but it, I don't think it exists. Anyways, uh, we are going to use these four tools that we learned in the past. So if you miss like how to use it or want to go more in depth on it, uh, I'll link you in the description for those videos. But we're going to use uh, VFM, the file manager, uh, the watch command, task puller and also rsync to uh, copy our files now when you're copying your files uh, i mainly do this for like big files or important files that you're copying to another location um that's not in the same hard drive you know or the same partition so definitely if you want to use this um you know a different partition or a different hard drive or even a network uh drive that you mounted uh this could work too so for example up top here this is our file manager vfm the reason why i went with vfm is because they actually have a uh, command to send to the next pane and they only support up to two panes uh, unlike uh, ranger they do not have a command to you know send to the next pane because they, they support like multiple panes anyways that's why i went with the vfm here but you can see that we have uh two different hard drives here right this one is my other external and this one is another one They're all different and when you're transferring files um, you want to you know make it be accurate and 100 percent and that's why we're using rsync in the background here now down here this is the watch command and it's using um, or is watching a uh, task puller and task puller is also good for this because when you do an rsync uh, process you don't want to do like multiple rsync process at the same time it'll just slow down your, your data transfer but um, you know if, if you queue it uh, one at a time then it'll be more efficient I think so that's why down here it's just uh, we're just watching you know the task puller command uh, sometimes it's TS sometimes TSP um, for the command depending on your distribution it might have a different name but TSP or TS just look it up on your distribution Anyways, uh, that's what we're doing here. And this also looks like a progress bar because you can't really tell, you know, uh, our sync command um, if it's finished or not. So that's why it's another reason to use uh, task builder. It'll be like a progress bar and also it'll queue up the tasks one at a time, right? So it doesn't, low, uh, you know, slow down your computer. Anyways, all that being said, let's demonstrate this fucking shit out, all right? Up top here we have uh, VFM and we're just going to copy a couple of files. Uh, the two hotkeys you really need to know is RY and RD. Okay, RY means rsync uh, copy and RD means uh, rsync move or delete the files uh, after you move it. All right. Anyways, uh, how do you do this here? If I just press, let's say for example, this Far Cry here, if I just want to copy it over to this part over here, uh, I just do RY and as soon as I press that you see that the bottom here it says running and it's gonna copy um, was it a far cry to that location over here right and that's what it's doing and you can run this and you can you can go uh, and queue up another uh, task uh, when it's that's done so if I do RY again on this one RY it'll say queue right and once this one's finished It'll go on to this next one and so on and so forth. If you watch my um, task builder uh, video, you understand this. But you see it says finish and then uh, that one was really small. So that's why it finished really quick. But you see that there it is. They're both done. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Okay. Now that one was for copying. Um, let me see here. We have it down here now, right? So we copy these two. Now if you want to move it, it's RD. So if I press RD on any of this. Like this total annihilation here I hit RD and basically you will wait until it's um, what was that uh, finished copying and it'll verify and then it'll actually delete the file um, so we'll see here right and there you go I did um, a, uh, a move for that so you see that total annihilation it moved over here and it doesn't exist over here anymore and so on and so forth. So that's what we're going to be doing. You could do this with multiple files too. So for example, if I wanted to copy, uh, uh, I'll, I'll highlight this one. 
let's say we do this CD1 here and yeah let's do those two right if I want to move both of those I can just highlight them and do uh, RD and it will do its job here I don't think it will take any long we'll wait for it so there it goes finish everything and it moved it over here right now uh, let's go to the configurations real simple here bus out VFMRC so the two things that we just talked about was these two here um, this one for copying and the bottom part here this one is for moving so the one is copying is pretty simple we use a uh, task pooler uh, actually we'll, 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 we'll explain the whole thing here so this is the hotkey RY uh, you just press RY on the files that you want or the files that you selected and this one will just copy the files it will not delete any files so the, we'll use task pooler uh, rsync and then uh, you know send the files over to the destination and all that um, again the important part here is make sure uh, your, your your distribution sometimes is is uh, just TS for task pooler sometimes TSP so make sure you figure that shit out and the one for move here now the move um, command on rsync we'll see here so it's rd is the hotkey but uh, what was that task pooler and then rsync and I'll say remove source files the thing with uh, removing source files it will actually remove like every file but it will actually leave the empty folders uh, once you do this I don't know why rsync doesn't have an option of removing empty folders but uh, I went around that by adding other tasks here so that's why you see a bunch of tasks when uh, I did that uh, basically we're doing one task here right now right here one task to copy the files this one is to delete any empty uh, subfolders that remains and finally this one deletes the primary folder that is empty so that's how I got around uh, you know arsing not having the files uh, or an option to delete uh, empty folders to queue up three tasks to do one task so that's how I did that anyways if you want to uh, do this uh, all you gotta do is uh, install those programs link will be in the description for all the other stuff that I talked about and anything else well we'll demonstrate one last time see so over here if I want to copy this folder and what else we're we missing let's do the Soviets here all right these two if I just want to move them I can go RD and it will should move them here and you see here it says QQ and it well, it's already done now so it's kind of quick for those files but you understand here let's clear this out again here we'll clear the list all right and what else we got in here let's do this max ping we'll do um, RD and what else is here this ally we already did that shit this one we'll do RD and you see that it queues up uh, three tasks because it's, uh, it's doing a move command and the move we have to copy it and we have to delete the empty subfolders and from there we have to delete the primary folder that is empty also so that's why um, you can see that it queues up uh, should be six here because we did it twice here right one two three uh, four five and six All right so six tasks like I said um, so that's how you do this with the um, kind of like a front end to rsync not really but uh, it's useful to me and that's what I've been using if I'm transferring like large files uh, to another partition or a hard drive or even a network drive that I mounted using like a SSHFS if you don't know any of these I'll post you in the description and if you're on Arch um, to install task pooler the simplest way is using DevTap. again I did a video on that so all the links will be in the description if this is any useful to you that'll be it for this one